On this subject, we are going to talk uh, knowing more about the project CABAD, Quality of Life at Home, by the hand of Nereva Peña, Coordinator of International Projects of the Center Nazareth. Thank you, Nereva, for being here today. Thank what you. is the objective of CABAD? Well, the objective of CAVAD is to improve the uh, quality of life of elderly people that live at home. Mm -hmm. So, I in relation to that, it's also another objective is to improve the quality of life of the carers, the people that take care of those elderly people, and also uh, improve the quality of training around uh, caring. Uh, we also would like to give support to, to carers and also create a, a net uh, of support uh, outside the home so that will involve all the stakeholders involved in care at home. What are the out outcomes of the project? Well, uh, the project has several outcomes. Uh, the first one was uh, to, to do a net of... Uh, uh, well, of best practices in, mm -hmm. in Europe and detect the best practices around home uh, care. And we detected 59 uh, best practices in Europe. And from those, we selected 15 that we studied in depth. And at the same time, we also uh, found out what are the needs in home care in different countries in Europe. And that was like the first step. And from there, we could see what the needs were. So from there, we have done uh, an analysis of the training needs, and we are designing some modules uh, that uh, are for carers of elderly people uh, on different topics, because we have been able to identify different topics that are, are needed in the training. For example, it could be communication, knowledge on, on elderly care. It could be housing, how we have to organize the houses for the elderly care. It could be tools. It could be digital tools. So around those topics, we have found that are important, we are going to design some, uh, some um, units. And also, we are going to create a guide, a support guide, so that the people that are caring at home uh, can use it, can find support, can mm -hmm. find practical um, uh, examples, and you know, they can be guided uh, in, in the care at home. Mm. And what are the strengths of CAVAD? Well, CAVAD has several strengths, but if I had to select like one or two, uh, the strength is the partnership. Uh, it is uh, four different countries taking part now, uh, mm -hmm. Finland, Italy, fr uh, France, and, and the Basque Country. But there are different uh, partners. We are not all uh, is educational institutions. So, for example, in Finland, the, the partner is the, is the Occupational Health Institute. In Italy, we have the Bologna University with researchers from the education department. We also have a vocational education and training school. We also have service companies that give serv service uh, in the homes. And in France, the setup is, is uh, similar. There is a combination of partners. We have an education institution that uh, teaches social studies from EQF3 to EQF6. And we also have institutions that give direct service at homes. And here in the Basque Country, it's Matia Institute and Matia Fundacioa, which obviously they are a very relevant care provider that have first-hand knowledge of what's going on, and also they have a research center and Nazareth, we are a vocational education and training. So the, the strength is that we have people that give care directly at home, but we have teachers that are training the future carers, but we also have universities and researchers. And that combination for me is, is one of the main strengths. Of course. And the second strength maybe is that we've created local committees. So each country has a local committee. And in that local committee, different partners, the stakeholders that have to do with home care take part. And they've helped us identify the best practices. They've helped us um, identify the needs. And with that, they are guiding us and helping us to check that we are on the right path. And with, without their help, I think the project wouldn't have been the same. So I think that's the second strength. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Nereva, uh, and we hope to continue knowing more projects uh, uh, from you in the future. Thank you for being here. Thanks.